Hey guys, what's up? Uh, summer it's over, a little start to be cold, so I got my fat jacket and uh, it's still nice weather outside, but uh, it's pretty cold. Today for you, I got a pretty nice stuff, uh, something which we not do yet on my channel, so I think I like that, you like that. And uh, this video is uh, about the yield and uh, about some nice, pretty nice gold recovery, okay? So, let's start. Okay guys, see that this is all uh, uh, IA1000 series and uh, ceramic key prom with the gold caps and the ceramic key prom with the gold inside and a couple of different types of ITs but everyone has gold. So for the first what we got inside is actually that this is one big Motorola CPU. I got a couple of these once again. No gold leg, uh, sorry about that, but we got gold cap and some gold inside. And we got these kind of CPUs. See that gold leg, gold cap. This is actually i8000 series. Uh, this one not have gold cap but he got some gold inside so we got a lot of them see that this is a Siemens And what we more got inside, we got a couple of these one. This is white ceramic CPUs. And uh, this is actually, uh, see that, Mac Japan. See that? This is a very quality. And we got some EEPROM with a cap. We got a lot of small ITs with a gold cap. But we have a lot of these CPUs, I a thousand series. Here we got here we got here. Good. Some so someone had actually a glue leg, and someone not. Uh, this stuff on my hand is actually a, a yellow color. I painted some table yesterday and uh, and uh, this stuff should be removed with the water uh, because the paint is uh, on the water base but uh, I let them dry on my hands and uh, I have difficulty to remove that. So now what we're gonna do for the first time on this channel, we have mix that stuff. And uh, now we'll put that on the scale and see how actually we have a yield from it. I repeat, not all with the gold leg, but with the gold caps, everyone. And uh, a lot with the gold leg and the gold cap some gold bonding wire inside, wire inside. Something have gold wire, something not, because you see that this one actually I had gold bonding wire, but I saw a couple of them, they not. So what we do, we will crash this, put in a bucket and uh, let's make some gold, okay? Okay, the next station is to see how much uh, weight we, get, we got here. We got exactly 766 gram of this 8000 and uh, Sirius and uh, ceramic TPUs, ceramic EEPROMs. 
and ceramic chip like in gold cap so the next stop is uh, to crush all that put in a bucket and we go to Aquaregia What we're gonna do, we are remove leads and leads we are process separately. Some of that leads without gold we were removed. And you see that this is an actually just gold inside. Gold uh, not on a... Just gold inside not on a... But not gold wire, just the side and the gold legs. Okay, so that all job is finished. Okay, this is our waste ceramic and this is our solution. Not filtered it yet. I will just take that to the mesh so I will uh, do some denox in that little bucket. I do some uh, drop in that same bucket. Then I will re refine all that gold powder once again. Okay.
you guys here in this cup I got all slug from the first drop from uh, that uh, CPU and chips and from the leads so now I will do very fine once again I add hyaluronic acid 75 milliliter and I will add 25 milliliter just a little night gas okay now put that on heat This is our second refining. Now I filter the solution, filtering the solution, and the color is pretty nice. So from these, I expect at least at least seven gram, but uh, I don't know. We will see on the end. And okay, guys, now it's time for a pure drop. Let's see what we got. And this is just nice. Very nice. Now we just need to see how much we got gold inside, okay? Hey guys, see that? Very pure gold. Very heavy gold. See that? Now, let's see what we got. <laughs> 